What's up guys, Jez here from Whisker Fight and welcome to another episode of Whisker Fight TV, your favourite weekly whiskey TV show where we are opening bottles of rye, it appears, that are not available in Australia until this very moment in time. Now, uh, our beautiful friends at Honey Barrel are sponsoring this episode, so thank you Kia and your team because fuck, love you. Um, but first I want to bring on the beautiful guest. Lane. I really want another camera behind me to get your like, weird <laughs> funky dance moves. My man, there we go, thank, thank you. you. Um, I, I love that we do that now. It's, <laughs> just, <laughs> it's just progressed. It's progressed. I'm like, I'm here for it. <laughs> anyway, a little bit of chaos. Um, but speaking of a little bit of chaos. That was an awkward bottle flip. Really? It? That hit you that one a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> Is that not chaotic enough for you? Oh. We are still sealed. We're still sealed? It's just still sealed. Just? It's got a bit oh, of crack she, here. She split. But this side, it's fine. Okay, we're, okay. we're good. We're good. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. That, oh. that pop? <laughs> How syrupy does that look? That is thick. She looks thick as. Those bubbles be coming up slowly. I'm here for it. Um, if you guys haven't realized by now, this is a bottle of Redwood Empire Rocket Top. It is a bottle in... Not Red Rocket, just to confirm, to clarify. Rocket Top, <laughs> not Red Rocket. The <laughs> amount of times that has been a slip up is ridiculous. I, I made sure. I still love how that's bubbly. Um, Look how thick it is. Yeah. I love that. It just shows like how oily and viscous this, yeah, yeah. this juice is. Um, it is 100 proof and 50% ABV. It is at least five years old, but for a bottle in bond, it has to be a minimum of four, but it says five years at five the and back a quarter. there. Is it actually five and a quarter? Yeah, because it's summer. And it, sorry, it went in its spring and it came out in summer. Okay, to so be five and a quarter. There you go. Um, oh, there you go, cask is undisclosed. I don't know if... I mean, it'd be... I, I think it'd be New Chart American Oak. Well, if it's a straight rye, then yes, because it follows the same rules. Oh, does it? Is it straight rye? It doesn't actually say. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, straight rye. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, New Chart American Oak. Um, <coughs> the funky as fuck mash bill too. All right. Let me run you through the mash bill. Yeah. That was a good catch. Yeah. You run me. You run the mash bill. I'll so the it is 87% rye, 5% wheat, 5% malted barley, and 3% corn. So I can see how it hits that straight rye because obviously it needs to be at least 80% to hit that straight rye. Yeah. No? What are we thinking? No, I'm thinking corn whiskey. Two years for straight rye. Two years for straight rye doesn't need a complete mash bill. No, what am I thinking? Single grain. 51% is the rye. Yeah, right. Same as barley. It doesn't carry the same rules as corn whiskey? No. No, because corn whiskey... To be um, called corn whiskey, it has to be over 80%. Over 80%. Mm -hmm. But other than that... Oh, straight? Straight? What am I thinking? Straight on? is a two-year minimum, and it what also has to have in What am I thinking? Um, actually, what is fun, and I love about this so much, it's actually a four-grain rye. It's four-grain? Which... I do have another four-grain down there, but it is it's a four-grain bourbon. Um, that's... I was like, which? But then I was like, oh, wait, no. No, um, because Rabbit Hole do a four-grain. Oh, really? Yeah. Actually. Alright, you said really because you confused. Oh. I didn't know they did full grain. It's full grain bourbon. The KPL is it? I was talking about Penelope. 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 Yeah, Penelope. Um, yeah, more commonly known as Penelope in, in whiskey circles. Um, Penelope is full grain. All of them. All of them are full grain. Bourbons. Uh, here is our two friends at Whiskey Hunt and Barrel and Batch, both full grain. Yeah. Um, so the odds. That this is like a full grain rye. Um, so much. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Now, I did taste this the other day and it does need a hot minute to open up. So, thank you for pouring this early. And I'm going to crack into these, these notes. So, uh, Redwood Empire Rocket Top is a premium rye whiskey that is proudly handcrafted at the Redwood Empire Distillery. Nestled in the heart of California in the Sonoma County. Now, the distillery was founded by whiskey enthusiasts who sought to create a unique and high quality rye whiskey that would stand out in a crowded market. Just before you continue, please. Because they're in Sonoma, mm -hmm. I wonder if I'll venture into the wine place. 
Yeah, well, it's not a stretch. No. It's I can a... imagine a good rye finish in a... So can I. Not a bourbon. Yeah. No, no, no. I would... No, no. Bourbon mm. finishes just... Fuck off. Yeah. yeah. Rye finishes. Rye, though. though. Like, you'd be able to pull out Sonoma those. Sonoma Cunt. So you're in the... Sonoma... Sorry, what? Sonoma Cunt. <laughs> Sonoma County. Yeah, thank you. Um, or rather the, the Sonoma region. Yep. And the wineries there would be a great fit. Absolutely. Or, it's a bright, mm. fresh, it's, zesty it's bright. It's it. It's it. It's it. It does. Sorry, it's that's it. what I want to say. Continue. Uh, thank you before you finish calling everyone in the county. Counties. Yeah, counties. Counties. <laughs> counties. Uh, their passion and expertise was the perfect recipe that uh, now became the signature blend of Redwood Empire Rocket Top, not Red Rocket. Uh, they use the finest ingredients by selecting premium grains and the finest water to make their rye whiskey. Um, as I did cover, this is a bottled in bond, so it hits those those, uh, those lovely rules that um, the four one, the one four, four one, the four one, the one four. Yeah. Um, if you want to rattle that off, because I know how much you love it. One distiller, one distillery, one growing season. Yep. And one hundred proof. It's one distilling season. One distilling season. Yeah. Not one growing season. Yeah, I couldn't think of a word. And so, then yep. it has to be a minimum of four results. Yep. So, four different ones and then one four. And, and then on top of that, it has to be done in a lobby. Warehouse. One of air warehouse, yeah. And then that's all it is. It's very easy. Four so one easy. One. So it's such an easy way to remember it. Yeah, literally. Um, sorry, now you're going to crack into this nose. Mm -hmm. For a hot minute to weirdly, um, this is gonna sound like very weird. Yeah, but before I let it open a bit, I got this Smith's Chips barbecue note. That's so weird. It, it's gone now though. But when I first cracked it and smelled it, that was instantly what I thought of. I was like, the fuck? That's so <laughs> odd. But it, yeah, it's gone now. But like, you get the that. As I said before, those fresh, zesty notes. Like. Yeah, it's like I covered a lot with like rye whiskey, and it's like that lime zest. And I, zest. I, I love it, like lime cordial, fresh, um, like fresh, not really, it's cordial, um, but like a fresh crack on a uh, Coddy's lime cordial. Yeah, like and enough like to make your pancreas stop working. That, that wheated note is going to add that ci more citrus to it, because mm -hmm. again, wheated. Bourbons or just weed whiskey in general. I always get orange notes. Yeah, absolutely. and then when anything has a light wheat note, you get citrus. Whether it's orange, lemon, or lime, it's sort of amped up a bit if there's wheat in there. Mm. Mm. So, it's, oh, I was having trial try this the other day, and she was super tight, and she needed about 20 minutes to open up. So obviously, we're working in a little bit tighter of a schedule. But what I got the other day, because obviously I was able to crack this with Gian. Yep. Yeah, I have a couple of whiskeys at lunch. It was like 11.30 in the morning. <laughs> like, we're here for it. They're like, we're going to... Why not? Why, why not? not? He was like, what do you want to open? I'm like, actually, you have those there. You're going to open them. And like he had the <clears throat> straight rye and the um, Grizzly Beast Rocket Top. Um, I'm like, let's open those. And like, as we sat there and we went through the rye, it had this really nice um, herbal, herbal honey to it. It does, and it's, it's like, like a super. I don't know if you're able to pick that up. Yeah, no, 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 it took no, us no. about twenty minutes, thirty minutes. I was, just, for it to I was like, up. it's not caramel. In my head, I was no. trying to think of what kind of sweetness it is. It's not like sugar, as in like your white sugar. It's not your brown sugar and your raw sugar. Yeah. It's not your caramel or your toffees. Honey is the perfect note for it. Yeah. I wouldn't call it like a floral honey. No, it's more of a herbal. But yeah, it, it's got like a... It really takes on that MGP rye. Um, sorry, yeah. not MGP rye, but um, like, because obviously... The it's MGP a, oh, you profile. The profile, yeah, yeah, spot on. Um, Where you get those like herbal notes, the, those lime, like, those charred lime. You don't get like charred pineapple here. Mm. But like you get those charred lime and lime zest mm. notes, you get that herbal quality, but it's not straight herbal. It's like a honey. Herbal. It's not really herbal on the like the nose. It's more herbal on the back. Yeah, palate. Palate. yeah, correct. Um, because normally you find with MGP, it's like herbal on the nose, and you're getting like this herbal note throughout. Those waves that just flow yeah. Through the but maybe it's just that five percent malted barley note, because we're obviously running a high rich rye. You're adding wheat. So you're dropping it down, and then that three percent corn there as well. It's so obviously giving a little bit of sweetness, a bit more sweetness, yeah, correct. Um, which is great. It's really approachable, and mm. this kind of like as it takes a minute to open up, it's actually it's actually doing some fun things there. 
Are you just trying to find a rhyme? No, I'm trying to find an original. Yeah, because this is MJP source. Okay, well, I'm going to grab And, and I just want to see... So this is at least four years, where this is at least five years. This is their own distillate, where that is MJP. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's got Redwood branded. Look at him. I, I prep for this exact moment. Oh, really? Oh, you expecting that to happen? I was expecting this to happen. I, I'm about four moves ahead. Well, the other move is... Oh, I was going to go get them. That's nice, different. Different game. Oh, of course it's going to be a different game. Um, Ooh. but like different game. Super different. This is like... So I assume this is this 95 is floral. 5. 95 5? That is 95 5. It's MGP. Um, Just to confirm, I, I swear I remember it being an MGP source. Yeah. Oh no, it's a blend. Distilled in California and in I the don't game. actually have the... Without going back through my book, I don't have the write-up for it. Um, so it's a mix. So they'd probably be using their new, say, two-year-old stuff. No, no, it's a minimum four. It's a minimum four. Minimum four? It's a minimum... Uh, oh, around. Not straight, right? Yeah, actually, yeah. Minimum. At least four years. At least four years. I was going to say, this has a weird marshmallow rose note to it. Which is... And then you pick up all these new notes as you kind of go side by side. This is... This is, like, deeper, darker. What's so weird? <laughs> I love it. So, so this is their own juice, which I'd like I'm a huge fan so they've, of. So they've blended a 95.5, which is MGP, with an 87.553. So 87 rye, 5 wheat, 5 malted barley, and 3 corn. Mm. Mm. I thought that was just solid MGP. Mm. That's what I've been telling everyone anyway. Mm. But do you know what? It's... It might have this youthiness to it. It does, it's got a youthiness to it that is not here. Yeah. So they've really smoothed out that smoothed out that profile. There's way too many F's in that smooth. That grain note is just gone. Yeah. To, from, from here to here. Yeah. So I do have their um Oh and again we're running with batch two of the bib for yep. those playing at home. Oh what's the sample you got? Is that batch one? Sorry to sort of sidetrack you. No, you're okay. You, you keep talking, I'll, um, I'll work on that. Yeah, yeah, so... The, the nose, in contrast to this... Sorry, to this... I've got an Emerald Giant cast right. And you haven't cracked the door. I haven't. Do you want me to open it? It's delicious. So, I want to know how it stacks up. Well, you've got... You'll have the line up there. I'll literally have the line up. Yeah, yeah. What do you reckon? Crack yes, it. go for it. Crack it okay, crack so it. once again, this episode is sponsored by Honey Barrel. Brought to you um, by Honey Barrel. Brought to you by Honey Barrel. King Kea. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yeah, um, he's more commonly known in the Discord as King Kea. Um, so he did send us up these samples of Emerald Giant cast strength as well. I just want to get that in frame. Um, cheeky little brandy on there too. Cheeky little brandy. You um, have to take a pour off. Just use your mouth. I'm not judging you. It's the only way to do it. So weird. Yeah, this is like this weird marshmallow Turkish delight, and then you get this massive lime cordial, like Cotty's lime cordial on the back, and then you get like a very small amount of mints coming through. Very just putting in that well. Well, this one. Okay. Um, because I'm fairly sure this would be running the same here. It'd be a blend of MJP. Yeah. Right? Again, we don't have the bottle here, we didn't prep for this. Mm. No, super off the cuff. Okay. This is honey on the nose. This is way sweeter. Yeah. I, I love the honey on this. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The honey just drew me in, and I was like, there's vanillas, yeah. there's honeys. These are definitely the same profile. Definitely the same profile. Yeah. Um, but. I, I'm in love with this, and it's like. I can't. I need a. Because I, I bought the uh, the Lost Monarch because the Lost yep. Monarch is Lost Monarch is love. I but this coming to this now. You get your lime cordial. You get your rose marshmallow. The marshmallow. Yeah, it's got that like undertones of those rose water notes. Yeah, yeah. It's just this feels a little deeper, and I'm all for it. Mm. I'm all for it. So their own juice is incredible. Yeah, and it's like okay. I need more of this. Mm. There's a cast right here. 
I could be very wrong, this could be there as a cast rate, but these seem to have a more similar nose than these. Sorry, what do you mean, like, these could be a cast strength, because these are... No, no, I'm saying this and cast strength. Oh, that at cast strength, I got you. But yeah, yeah. this could be this, but the nose on this seems more like this. Oh, I'm this. following. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah, well, it says Emerald Giant and not um, Rocket Top, if uh, that make, okay, yeah, makes yeah. sense. That makes sense, then. So Sorry. if they do a Rocket Top cast strength... Oh, is Rocket Top only for big? Or is Rocket Top for their own California exclusive? You're asking me, I'm not the brand ambassador. Might as well be. But you're pitching it. So, Pitch, I'm, yeah. but this is the thing, you're pitching it to the audience. So, I feel like this is this at cast strength, yeah. because that is how it's labelled out to me. Yeah, yeah, so, that, like, that I sense, read that as Emerald Giant, this being Emerald Giant, so cast it's strength. A blend of MJP and their own distillate. Yeah. A rocket top, then, yep. at cast strength. Is their own juice. Would be the 100% their own juice, and that is something I want to see, because the at cast strength. Only issue with this, again, throw back or throw forward, not sure. Mm -hmm. Which we found it with the bourbon. I know that mm -hmm. this is different. Yeah. The bourbon just sat a little lighter when it was going up against higher proof stuff. And I yeah. feel this would be the same. It would, yeah, this it would sit lighter. This sips a lot lower than what other ryes do. Because mm. we tried it and we went through it and we were like, okay, cool. Nose, nose okay? Um, nose is good. Nose, nose is good. The palate. Sorry, it, it noses, what I mean by it noses okay is like, yep, there's a lot of flavour going on there, but once you take a sip and you're like, this is a lot sweeter rye, and I don't have any of that rye spice that I'm expecting for a rye. So it's that wheat that yeah, there's, there's corn not as brings much. it out. There's not as much. Yeah. I don't know why, but I, I don't think, like, yeah, I don't think, yeah, the wheat and the corn are definitely softening everything. You got the wheat softening, the corn sweetening. Hmm. So you still get... Hard. There's no aggression there from that rice spice. Yeah, I'm trying to think what the best descriptor is for that herbal note, and I'm like, it's, it doesn't it's feel like, doesn't feel like mint. It's not spearmint. It's not even like star anise, anise, no, no, absinthe sort of notes. No, it's or licorice from the licorice root. Like it's, yeah. it's almost those, but a little lower and a little sweeter. Yeah, I, I can't, you. I can't pick out the right flavor note for it. Yeah, I like, but, but I there is like a minute to open up. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's you're trying to pick it while it's tight and dense. Um, but once she opens up, like she should blossom. Mm. That's and, that's weird. Can, having those, yeah. I thought that'd be fun. Like that's mm. why I held back on the sample because like we're only going to be able to film this once. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And like, there yeah, actually, I'm just about to lose that far right hand camera too. Okay. Um, we'll look at right right. Too, yeah. Anyway, yeah, we're so palette wise, we haven't touched the palette. Um, yeah, let's go on. We're only here. Mm. So, um, yeah, palette wise, there's like, there's, a, there's not really too much spice there's going on. Um, like a little bit of pepper just on that back of my tongue there. A little pepper, the faintest amount of mint. Yeah, it's still that watered down honey, so like a honey syrup almost comes through. I see that. Yeah, okay. It's not like that thick present honey, but the sweetness isn't what I'd call caramel. It's mm. not what I'd call toffee or molasses. Nothing like that. It's no, more it's of a very like light. A, it's light, it's honey, it's watered down to some honey syrup. Mm. Absolutely. The palate is super approachable. Yeah. It's not super complex. Mm -hmm. It's not super oily, mm -hmm. but it's not the dry. No, so definitely not a dry thing. Thin. Yeah, Bite the pillow, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, no, so it's not dry or thin on the palate. No, she's and the super finish, oily. The finish is good. Mm. Again, not a long finish. You're mm -hmm. not going to expect a long finish at 50%. percent mm -hmm. mm. I want to say mid to low viscosity. I'm like, I'm getting a, mm. a little bit of oiliness on the tongue, but the juice doesn't feel thick. No. If that makes sense. Yeah, pepper, pepper's definitely there. Um, and then you've got that honey. It's going to sound like super oily. I know we're here for it. It's not as wanky as goji berries. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. <laughs> like, when you think of pepper, you think of white and black pepper. Here we go. Is this Himalayan? No, no. <laughs> it's, 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 I wouldn't call it white or black pepper, but pink pepper. <laughs> here is generational wealth. At its I feel like such a wanker saying that. But like, they, they've all got like a I'm flavor. Poor. I can't afford pink pepper. But it, it's got that pink pepper note. <laughs> Fuck, I hate me. I hate me. Okay. 
<laughs> I've never. This is so one dimensional. I'm like, I've never tried pink pepper. And Yak's like, Oh my god. Do you know what you need more of in your life? Pink pepper. Like, yeah, I don't, I, like, yeah. It's just got this. This has like a. It's not super fruity. Like, yeah. Throw no, back to another episode, future or past, not sure. Doc Swinson. Yeah. It's not like that. Yeah. But it is. Definitely not like these. No, absolutely not. It's Even like, though, yeah, no, you're right. It's not like three. It's not like that pineapple nose. It's just I mean, you're okay. Do it. Do it. This is six years. The Doc Swinson. Yeah. Okay. It's MGP, but it's Blame aged Blame entirely Blame. in Washington State. Yeah. yeah Coastal. Yep. Yeah. Same coast as these guys. It wouldn't be the same coast. Washington. State. Washington State. I'm in Washington DC. <laughs> Washington State. I'm like, that's too confusing. Find a new name. Why are we? This is Washington State. I'm like Washington DC, and I'm like, you're like no. same coast. No, no it's, it'd be it's, different. It, yeah, because it'd just be so fruity. It, yeah, it is. It's more in line with, or oh, actually, more this. Yeah, hundred percent. Not hundred percent. It'd be two hundred proof. <laughs> Kill ya. Kill your nana. You're like, no, that is alright. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think this is on its own out here with like new juice. It's They're juicy. Done well. like, okay. I'm trying to figure out what it is. It reminds me of <laughs> pink pepper. No, no, I was going to say just juice poppers. But the tropical just juice poppers. Okay, when was the last time you had one of those? I'm a diabetic. I buy random juice poppers as like backups. I well. have not had one since I was like six. Mum was like, no, Jeremy, sugar's bad for you. And then I put on 100 kilos. No. If I was editing, I'd insert a fat gems photo, but we. <laughs> it's not my show, so. <laughs> Just have it like a little placeholder photo here. <laughs> Just like, no, no one there. Just a little placeholder photo. It just has photo here. Yeah. Insert photo here. Yeah. Mm. yeah, no, that bit. Mm. Close? Yeah. But not too close. Yeah. I feel like you're right. This is more aligned compared to like what this is, compared to like, because obviously like these two were more aligned. It's like same juice, upped up. Um, yeah, I'd probably stack it like that. But yeah. I'd probably go like for me, if I'm numbering them like one, two, three. One, two, three, four. I can't decide that. That's like a little tricky to me because I'm. I'd 100% go like that. I'd go one, two, three, four. Oh, really? But the price difference between these is much bigger. As in, like, this is 239, this is 269, 279, 289. No, no, no. No, no. It was less than that. Sorry, let me flick to a more forward episode. 285. 285, 239. 40, 40 bucks difference. But this is the thing, right? Like, we're talking about a jump in proof. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. So 56.4, we're talking what, 6 point, uh, 12.8 proof points. Yeah, so almost 13. 13 proof points almost. Mm -hmm. Compared to this, which is a justifiable price in the States, because yeah. again, you take that to a half percent rule, we're looking at a $40, $50 price jump. Yeah, we're looking absolutely. at a so it's 15, boxes. $23 price jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah that makes two sense. Boxes. Yeah. So, like, I'm, I'm all for it. Um, but I'm like flavors for me, like I prefer those softer, like coming from bourbon background. I'm not looking for fruitiness. I'm looking for more like those honeys, that sweetness. That is that. And this, yeah. this is fruity. This is the bourbon still, drinker's rye. It is. This, this is sweet as well. Like again, it has this weird like Turkish delight, rose marshmallow yeah. note to it, which I've never picked up before until we're in this setting. I love. Again, that it's, so it's so weird. It's so weird. Um, but this is more classic rye in terms yeah. of you 95 by yeah. blended with their own distillate. You're still getting a lot of that MGP no coming through, which mm. you find here. Mm. And again, I'm an MGP whore, I'm not going to deny that. Again, I always didn't think really to Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. No. Anyway, so we've gone those, pilot finish. Sit, shoot, sink, or are you just going to go with an order? Um, no, well, actually, we didn't. We didn't do it for either of the two previous sips. No. Sit, shoot, sink. We just um, went with orders. Yeah, which is which is fine because we had to wrap it up because we got a little off track. We're off um, track again. Absolutely. Oh, fuck. 
Um, okay, sip, shoot, sink. Um, I would absolutely sip this. Sip um, this, I agree. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm picking it up all day. Um, I'm a huge fan of it. It's just so soft on the palate, so sweet. Um, and as she sits in the glass 20 minutes, um, as you said, like previous or um, post episode with Ollie, and it's like you just put that in a glass, drop an ice cube in if you so desire, and you just let it sit, sit, and then watch that water break down that whiskey, and you'll be able to get different flavor notes from it. It's a whole tasting experience. 100 proof is perfect for it. So No, I agree. I agree. I think 100 is maybe get a smaller ice cube, but like you're there. 100 is great. I do want to see it at cast, but I think bottle and bottle suits it for this. Yeah, yeah. fuck them Yeah. Mm. There we go. All right, thank you done. again, King Kea. Thank you again, Honey Barrel. Yeah, um, yeah. Thank you, Kea. Thank you, Honey Barrel. Um, it actually blessed to have Redwood in Australia because I didn't think we'd ever see it. So to get a good distributor on board for it is amazing. Like looking out for the community, um, making sure bottles get into people's hands rather than just cucking everyone and jacking the price up. So it's unaffordable. Um, but I even think like. Two thirty nine is a good price for it, um, because we're what seventy bucks. The US, we've got two US, two and a half. We're probably at that three mark. Yeah, we're at three. Mark. Um, but even so, like that four grain, like sweetness of it at a hundred proof. What what is that comparable to? Well, that's the thing. Like four grain, hundred proof, minimum four year. In what's available here in Australia, not a whole lot. No, so like it's out in a field on its own. Um, like as always, the pricing could always be better. Um, but I, I think it's a good conversion for like a bourbon drinker's right. Like, <laughs> I think this is. A, a, yeah, I think this is a better conversion. This is, this is weird weirdly. I this. think this is a better conversion for a bourbon drinker's right. Is. But if you can't get this. I think that's a good place. Yeah. I think that's a very good place. I, yeah, okay, you got like toffees, apples, um, a lot more sweetness going on there. Um, it's more honey, so it's like more Aussie outback kind of outback. 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 Outback kind of vibe, man. Um, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> I'm way too wide. You, should, that you shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> Fuck it, right? Exactly. Sue me. Fuck um, it, right? Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> is it Friday or what? <laughs> Might as well be. Might as well be. Friday. Um, Friday. Uh, yeah. Oh, fuck it. We'll wrap it up there because mm. we are 28. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. All right. If you're done, I'm done. So uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed this week's episode. Um, this was brought to you by Honey Barrel, obviously, because literally <laughs> Honey Barrel on stacks. So um, this is... Glossin Lane, aka Yak and Bottle. This okay. is. Oh, wait, he's not here. <laughs> this is Whisker <laughs> Fire. <in> the chat. <laughs> <laughs> love you, Jack. <laughs> Do we, um, though? No. Um, yeah, well, if you loved us, you'd be here, so. Uh, that might be his last episode. Action the chat. <laughs> Sad reacts only. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. Um, I'm Jez. That's Jacob, aka Yak. Colin Yak. He loves it. Oh, Yakub. Um, stay thirsty. Peace.